Hello, everybody. I uh, hope you're all watching. Thanks for coming out tonight, or uh, to the comfort of your living room and your couch, and etc. cetera. Um, we'd like to introduce singer-songwriter Danny Jackson. He's going to come out and uh, interview s or review some new music for you. And uh, so shoot us comments, what you think, good, bad, in between, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you. Good evening, all. 
My name is Stove Handle Dan Jackson, and uh, I just got through producing my own album, and um, I thought that I would share those selections with you this evening. Um, so I, I've been I've been playing music. Most, well, probably, I have to say most of my life anyway, and since I was two, and I'm 66, so that kind of gives you an idea. But um, anyway, uh, some of this, uh, this album is called uh, Call Me Stove. Uh, I got the name Stove Handle Dan from a friend of mine who uh, handed me a stove handle to play slide guitar one night. And... Um, I proceeded to play with it and everybody was thrilled and so they started calling me stove handle after that and so <laughs> I've kind of wound up with that odd name but anyway um, this first tune that I've selected is um, called a distant voice you know I, I wanted to uh, say something about all of the uh, you know, the quarantine that we've all been dealing with, and because um, I know that's something that's pretty much paramount on most people's mind at this point. And um, so anyway, this, this song is kind of about, you know, that and uh, about, uh, about hearing someone's voice in a distance and, and trying to identify with it. And um, um, I'd like to extend thank yous to the crew here, Liz, Grace, Jesse, and Tim Albert, and Joey Dominguez, and people, the other people that I don't know, uh, I appreciate the opportunity to be able to play this evening. So, without too much further ado, this song is called A Distant Voice, and it goes like this. I hear you calling from far away I heard it bad by the words you say Maybe you're telling me that you're okay What do we get for the price we pay? Someday we'll all be back together We've got to plan for that now And be prepared to stay forever No matter what comes down I'm here today, I hear you say, we all have a choice, I have a different voice. Nobody listens when you talk too loud, no one hears what they want to hear. Nobody likes you when you seem too proud, it makes us nervous when you stand too near. Someday we'll all be back together We've got to plan for that now And be prepared to stay forever No matter what comes down I hear today, I hear you say We all have a choice I hear a distant voice I hear a distant voice Try to remember who you want to be Don't forget about who you are It won't be long when we'll all will see No 
distance as way too far. We'll be back, baby, back together. We've got to plan for that now. And be prepared to stay forever, no matter what comes down. I'm here today, I hear you say, we all have a choice, I have a distant voice. Hear a distant voice. I hear a distant voice. Hear a distant So, a distant voice. Um, <clears throat> you know, sometimes people talk to you, and when they do, you should be listening to what they have to say. But musicians are an odd group, and we are... Uh, Every once in a while, we're kind of uh, uh, prone to uh, daydreaming, as it were. And, uh, you know, one of the things I like to do, among other things, is fish. I'm a big fisherman. I got a big bass boat. And I love taking it out and ripping lip. <laughs> anyway, um, so I wrote this tune. And, uh, you know, a lot of times whenever people start talking to me, one of the things I start daydreaming about is being out fishing. So um, this song is called I Wish, Wishing I Was Fishing. So. Sitting in the sun, friend of mine near, wishing old times, sipping on a beer. He started talking, but I drifted away. He I know, he's shaking my arm, saying, what do you think? Would it do me any harm? And I realized I didn't know what to say. I know it's important, but I really wasn't listening. Okay, you caught me. I was wishing I was fishing. My girl and me out celebrating, sitting at the table. The waiter was waiting, asked if I was ready to order some food. My girl started talking about reading a book. Next thing I remember, she was giving me a look. She started her saying, you're ruining the mood. Back to think, but I've heard her saying, I was fishing, I was fishing. Well, I know it's important, but I really wasn't listening. Okay, you caught me, I was wishing I was fishing. Well, I know I don't have a good excuse. I should pay attention, but it ain't no use. I guess it's important, but I really wasn't listening. Okay, you caught me. I was wishing I was fishing. Playing on stage, guitars humming. Bass kicking butt, the drummer was drumming, crowd getting rowdy, getting carried away. I started picking and grinning at the women, shaking my stuff, my head started swimming. I went up to the mic and forgot what to say. Well, I know it's important, but I really wasn't listening. Okay, you caught me, I was wishing I was fishing. 
Well, I know that I don't have a good excuse. I could pay attention, but it ain't no use. Better ask me again. I really wasn't listening. Okay, you caught me. I was wishing I was fishing. Yeah, wishing I was fishing. Oh, wishing I was fishing. Yeah, you caught me. I was wishing I was fishing. Uh huh, wishing. I was fishing. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like I was wishing I was fishing at the first of that song. But uh, anyway, finally got it together. I hope you liked it. Um, about uh, January of this year, I was listening to some country music with my wife. My wife likes to listen to country music, and, uh, and I, I do too. I like pretty much all music at some, at some point or another. And, uh, you know, and she was listening to some country music, and there was a song on, and um, I was listening to it, and it had, a, had kind of an interesting sound to it and uh, an interesting form to it. And so I kind of stole a little bit of it. <sighs> don't, sh sh don't tell anybody. But anyway, uh, song is called I Won't Give Up. Call you on the phone, you got nothing to say. Try to steal your heart, but you just turn me away. I won't give up. I will never give up. I call you for a date, but you just say no. Take you to the movies, but you don't like the show. I won't give up. I will never give up. No, I won't give up until you give in. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not trying to change your mind But if it goes on this way Then I've got to say I'll make you mine Till the end of time I come over in the evening Just to talk for a while I laugh and tell you jokes But I can't get you to smile I won't give up I will never give up I ask you to remember, but you always forget. I know your love's a gamble, but I'm willing to bet. But I won't give up. I will never give up. No, I won't give up until you give in. Understand me, I'm not trying to change your mind. If it goes on this way, then I've got to say, I'll make you mine till the end of time.
Ah, so much for that. A little bit of country music for you. Um, on the album, there's a song called Don't Forget. That's what I'm going to do now. And the song is actually a song, an ode, if you will, to my grandchildren. I have three grandchildren, two, a boy and a girl, both nine-year-old. Adelia is nine, and uh, Bryce is nine. And um, I have an older one. Uh, her name is Allie, and she's 13. And um, they are the light of my life. If uh, you know, don't tell anybody. But if uh, I had known the grandchildren was so much fun, I would have had them first. But anyway, I uh, I love them all. And uh, anyway, this song is all about uh, one of the things that I'm kind of uh, uh, t sensitive about. I guess is the right word. Um, I don't want them to ever forget me. And I don't want them to forget who they are. And that's kind of what this song is all about. On the, on the album, by the way, when you do hear the song, you'll hear a little girl's voice in there saying, don't worry, I never will forget. And um, that is Adelia, just for those of you who'd like to know. So, all the things that make you whole that haven't happened yet, little one, all I'm saying is, don't forget. family I hope you'll see what the truth that you have grown well that was then and now these days remembered in so many ways will help you to get through the days and yet ah oh, that was then and now these days remembered in so many ways will help you to get through the days and yet don't forget forget ah don't forget ah don't forget so as I said that's a little tune for my grandchildren um when I first met Tim, he was kind of short and skinny, um, 
and uh, he had more hair than, uh, you know, uh, the, the tab Mormon Tabernacle Choir. But anyway, <laughs> he had a lot of hair. Um, but uh, Tim and I really hit it off the first time we met. And uh, shortly thereafter, uh, we started playing together. And I had, I had written a song. It was called Straight On Down the Line. And uh, that tune, we... We've that that song has been around the world, boy, but uh, we took it down to Eddie Fisher's studio down in East St. Louis, and now uh, we decided to record it and we put some banjo on it and uh, had some electric guitar and this and that and you know and it was a lot of fun. Well, at one point, uh, Casey Radio was having a, a little um, promote the local band kind of thing, and if you send in your uh, your pre-recorded uh, cassette tape, <laughs> they would play it on the air. Well, we uh, we sent it in. We didn't have, I mean, we figured, you know, they'll probably listen to it one time, and this will make, can, you know, this will make file 13 in a hurry. But lo and behold, that's not what happened. They actually played it on the air and got requests for it. And, um, well, the buddy of mine that I now play with in Cement Hollow uh, Randy Roberts. He didn't know it was going to be playing. He happened to be listening to the radio at the time, and he goes, wait a minute. That's me. So anyway, it's called Straight On Down the Line. Now, the song was written on a banjo, but I thought, you know, banjo is kind of stark by itself, and I don't have an accompaniment, so I'll just play it on the guitar, and, you know, we'll, we'll make do. If you really want to hear it, though, it's on the it's on the album. So when the album comes out, you'll be able to hear it banjo and electric guitar and everything else. So. If I told you I couldn't love you, would you leave me and not come back around? Or would you stay now and hear me play now? Let your mind start to wonder with the sound. I'm not looking for a lifetime, and I don't need no clinging by. I just want to keep moving straight on down the line. Well, I ain't ready for a lover. I just need somebody that I can get along. Don't say you love me. Let's be friendly, honey. Cause tomorrow I might be moving on I'm not looking for a lifetime And I don't need no clinging vine I just want to keep moving straight on down the line Just say you're ready to hold me steady Don't think about the love that might have been Be shy now, 
to catch my eye now you know that we'll be passing this way again I'm not looking for a lifetime and I don't need no clinging by I just want to keep moving straight on down the line down the line down the line Ah, straight on down the line. Yeah, well, uh, I usually don't choke in the middle of that song, but um, uh, something happened there in my voice. I'm not sure exactly what, but anyway, uh, tried to recover as quickly as possible. Um, this is a song that uh, uh, I love the blues. I've been listening to them all of my life, and I you know, just can't get enough of it. Um, and so I decided to write a blues song. Now, I'm a country music singer and, and country music writer, I think. Uh, bluegrass uh, is my, you know, root music. And, uh, uh, and, and I love rock and roll, too. But blues is something that I, I'm, you know, I haven't written a lot of them. But I've written a couple of blues songs. Uh, Tim and Lisa do one in uh, the Uncle Albert band. Uh, by the way, uh, the uh, uh, it's called uh, um, Shoes Blues. Anyway, this song is called Homesick Blues. And um, it's all about being home and being sick of it. London asked to speak to the king. They said he wasn't in, so they gave me the queen. She asked me what I wanted, so I gave her the news. Said I don't want to be lonely with thee. Homesick blues. Went down to New Orleans, where I sold off my pride. Met the devil at the crossroads and gave him a ride. He asked me what I wanted. I gave him the news. Said I don't want to be lonely with thee. Homesick blues. Homesick To be lonely with the homesick blues. I oh, make them homesick, boy. some precaution take a word to the wise you're getting older boy there ain't no compromise ask me what I want and I will give you the news I don't want to be lonely with thee homesick blues homesick
homesick blue Sick blue. I don't want to be lonely with these homesick blues. Ah, the blues. St. Louis and the blues. It's all over the place. Speaking of all over the place. You know, all around this country right now, we're looking at a um, struggle for equality, something that the country itself was founded on was the struggle for equality. And I mean, uh, you, everybody has a lot of opinions on it, and, and I don't want to get into political stuff because there's no point in it. But I will say this. I applaud all of the people who are trying to work to make us all equal as far as freedom goes because here in America we should all be free and we should we are, we all deserve uh to you know to be free because that's that's what that's what the country was founded on that's what our our forefathers saw for us you know they wanted us to be free of tyranny and free of 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 taxation without representation and all of that so Anyway, this is kind of what I observe on TV and read through the newspapers and, and all those media things that you see. And Anyway, it's a song called Freedom. And yes, it's about racial inequality. So... face down another man was on top and he was dressed like a cop and there were more standing near faces showing the fear I heard a voice I believe he said I cannot breathe the cop didn't move what was he trying to prove there were more standing near their faces glowing with fear I think it's time that we all stood up I need to be we've all had enough why are you worried can you just not see You've got to answer to the minority. If you get robbed of your humanity, then the robber robs us all. Don't you see a freedom? Then followed days of unrest. Some people cursed and some blessed. Some people marched and some prayed. Some people join the parade and they're fanning near Their faces showing the fear I heard the orange man speak Pretending not to be weak The army stood at his feet And social media tweet they stand it near glaring faces of fear I think it's time that we all stood up I do believe we've all had enough why are you worried can you just not see we're obligated to the minority if you get robbed of your humanity then the robber robs us all don't you see I think it's time that we all stood up I do believe we've all had enough 
Why are you worried? Can you just not see? You've got to answer to the minority. If you get robbed of your humanity, then the robber robs us all. Can't you see your freedom? Freedom. I'm going to switch guitars here for you and play a little tune that's called Tides of Rhyme. Um, what Tides of Rhyme is about, you know, I, you know, when you're sleeping at night or in, and you have dreams, they kind of come at you in waves. I don't know if you've ever noticed that, but, um, you know, for me, they do. And I kind of think of them as tides. Well, a lot of times I'm sleeping, and I know this may sound a little strange, but if you write songs, you'll get it. Uh, the rhymes just kind of come at me at random. Words that rhyme, phrases that rhyme, um, you know, concepts that have a, a rhyming end. And uh, this song did just that. It came to me while I was sleeping. And it's called Tides of Rhyme. <laughs> So uh, it's the longest song on the album, by the way. It's over four minutes. Oh, try not to get too bored. <laughs> anyway, it's called Tides of Rhyme, and it goes like so.
as we go hand in hand we are together side by side we move along now and then here and now will be forever we will sing the world a song i won't complain if i miss out on the daily struggle i won't declare i'm out of time let me stay let me lie here in a bed of petals waiting for the tides of rhyme waiting for the tide that The next song that um, is on the album is a song that was actually written several years ago. Um, my, my good buddy Matt Albert was playing with me and Tim, and uh, it's Tim's younger brother, and uh, we recorded this song and another song and um, Tim had uh, given me a, a, um, a CD of that recording session. And I kind of rediscovered this song. I kind of like to do something. Uh, this is, uh, I kind of let, to, I would kind of like to dedicate it to Matt. Because I know he's listening. near the end. Those craggy mountain hills where I was a kid. The woods ran with the creeks, but I never did. I'm thankful for my family and friends. there through thick and thin and I want to go back to the place where I began when I'm near the end when I'm near the end simple farm plains where I was a man farms and fields as far as you could see Always love to go there when I can. The people there were always good to me. And I want to go back to the place where I began. When I'm near the end. When I'm near the end. mountain hills where I was a boy. The 
woods ran with the creeks, I ran with joy. And I want to go back to the place where I began when I'm near the end. When I'm near the end. And I want to go back to the place where I began when I'm near the end. When I'm near the end. And I want to go back to the place where I began when I'm near the end. I don't know how clever it was, but actually put this song near the end. So <laughs> uh, here's one and the last one on the album. Um, I don't know how much time I've spent here. Probably cut it short. Who knows? But uh, anyway, um, this is a song called A Friend of Me, and it's about music. And uh, I just thought it fitting to be the last song on the album, something to leave you with. Um, of course, on the album, I've got, you know, dobro and, um, you know, and, and, and banjo and uh, acoustic guitar and bass. And, but, uh, but I don't think that all of that is ne necessary to, you know, really give you the idea of what the song is about. So anyway friend to me. About a hundred years ago, when I was just a couple years old, Papa handed me a guitar and said, let's hear you play. I tried to play it loud Cause I wanted to make him proud And I guess I'm still trying To make him proud today Never thought about the when or why While the years just rolled on by Kept on plicking and singing Best I could Day for people to dance was always waiting for that one big chance I was happy to be doing something I understood From the hills of Tennessee To the wide, dark, deep blue sea Across the central plains Music spoke to me I've heard it call my name And the Rocky Mountain Range like a dear old friend, always a mystery. And I always believed music was a friend to me. Same old music today Being sung in a brand new way Makes me feel so good To know people keep it alive No matter what the current trend It will always be a good friend Keep your ears on, boy And someday you will arrive From the hills of Tennessee to the wide, dark, deep blue sea Across the central plains Music spoke to me I heard it call my name And it that told the end of things Dear old friend Always was a mystery I always believed Music was a friend to me 
Yeah, I always believed music was a friend to me. I always believed music was a friend to me. I always believed music was a friend to me. From the hills of Tennessee to the wide, dark, deep blue sea, across the central plains, music spoke to me. I heard it call my name in a rocky mountain range, like a dear old friend, it never was a mystery. I always believed music was a friend to me. Yeah, I always believed music was a friend to me. I always believed music was a friend to me. Yeah, I always believed music was a friend to me. Well, uh, that concludes the album, <clears throat> and uh, I appreciate the time uh, that uh, I was given to do this. I appreciate the people who worked hard on this, um, and I appreciate my friends and the folks in the studio here, uh, so thank you so much. Um, once that one t I once more want to uh, uh, name the crew here, uh, Liz, Grace, Jesse, Tim, Joe. I appreciate being here. I appreciate you having me. And uh, well, I thank you very much. See you later. <laughs>